Oh. That beard is looking nice. Uh, look at that on the camera. Look at the side of it. How good does that look? You know me. I'm not one to compliment you. Thank you. I will say this, though. It's the greatest thing I have. I will say this. <clears throat> you would look good as a silhouette. Thank you. I'm talking like silhouette challenge, though. Butt I know. naked. I can do it. <laughs> Uh, but no, Ooh, actually, like, you just know, just take a sip of this. <laughs> well, uh, mm. you know how, like, people, five, four, three, two, one. You know how people, um, like, get those, like, it's like, uh, how do you describe it? It's like you take a picture of, pers- of a person and you just, like, take the silhouette of it and it's just, like, black, like, drawing of them. You'd look good as that because of your beard. Because of it, I could be iconic? No. No. Also, the shaved head works with it. Yeah, the shaved head no. as well. Because like when you have hair, it like ends up being weird looking mm-hmm. with silhouettes. But yeah, you'd you'd make a good silhouette. No, it's because of my hands looking fella. No, no, you you diminish when you take regular pictures. No, no, I can look good. Do you think that you're a good picture taker? Um, I think I have a good smile. I don't think I can take pictures well. Smile. That's good. Thank you. How about me? Yours is real good. I know. Nobody tells you that enough. You I get know. to smile. I do. Yeah, I think I, I think I can uh, smile well. I don't think I necessarily can take pictures well. Is it? It is weird. I, I I don't know if you're being sarcastic, but I do have this weird middle ground where I have bad teeth because the gaps, right? Mm-hmm. But I do have a, like a kind of contagious good smile. I know because I'm chunky. No, that's because you're handsome. What does chunky? Do that's a good one. That's a good sketch. <laughs> what does he do? I really like Andy Samberg a lot in general. I do like that he makes his way onto these shows. Like Eric Andre, he was on that show. Do you remember when he comes on? I just... the the Eric Andre. It's funny because um, it almost felt like Eric was testing to see how far yeah uh, Andy would do go. Yes, and when he whipped out his cock, Andy was like. Not doing Just that. Shaking his head. And no. he was like, "If you want to be successful, you have to do this." And he goes, "I'm more successful than you. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to make it in the industry, this is what you have to do." You didn't like Eric Andre's new movie? It was it just average. Did you watch it? No, Probably. I only saw the first twenty. It's yeah. I saw I, we co- talked Congress of Godzilla. I saw it. Did we talk about it on here? I don't know. I think we talked about it on our own. Congress yeah. of Godzilla. It's the best ver- best movie of all all of them ever. I don't know. I haven't seen the of this like universe, like better than Endgame. Yeah, better than yes, every better than really? every movie in this known universe. Yeah, really, that's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty good. I have to go see that then. Yeah, saw it in theaters. Really, mm-hmm. I I was thinking of going to see it. I've heard good things about it. I've heard very good things about it. Yeah, it's good. Um, I've never been. Thank you, co- cut Millie Bobby Brown completely out of the movie. It would be same the exact same movie. Nothing, but literally nothing. What, is she in it? Oh yeah, she's really? in the last one too. Yeah, I know. You you don't want her in it. She doesn't add anything. Literally nothing. The, her whole character and the other two characters that are with her, they literally do nothing the entire movie. So she's just pretty much there because hey, I'm Millie Bobby Brown. But she's the most famous person in the movie. That's yeah. weird to think. Yeah. Because like there I mean, are she's other a pe- very famous person. There are other people in the movie that I've seen in other things and have been acting longer than her. Mm-hmm. She's the most famous, she, without question. She's going to be a star for a long time. I thought you were going to say something way creepier, but no. yeah, you're right. I think that she's going to be in the business. <laughs> Nobody and... talks about this enough. Um, I hope all those kids make it out of being child stars, like normal and healthy, because mm-hmm. they're the most recent child stars that I can think of. The last ones were the Harry Potter kids, yep. and they all came out well-rounded, pretty much. Mm-hmm. They don't do anything, but... But at least they're not fucking insane. I mean, Daniel Radcliffe became like an alcoholic during that time era. Did but he? um, yeah, I guess that during all that, um, just to like cope with everything, he just like drank heavily, right? Yeah. And part of the he would like go out, and people would like notice him. They're like, "Oh, it's Daniel. It's Harry Potter." Yeah. So he would like drink, and then as he was getting drunk, people would be like, "Oh." Harry Potter's getting hammered. And then he's like, oh, I guess I got to keep drinking to even like block that out. So then he would drink even more. Really? And he used to do that all the time. That's pretty cool. It is something. Yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. He talked about it on the show. Have you seen the show off camera? Nope. It is a black and white interview show. Okay. There's like clips of it on YouTube. The interviewer is named Sam Jones. 
Okay. He's like a Hollywood photographer. And that's how he knows all these celebrities because he has taken their photos. Like, for example, he had, he, when Zoe Deschanel's show New Girl came out, um, <laughs> he was like the person to do the cast photos. And he was talking to um, the guy who plays Nick on it, yeah. uh, Jake Johnson. And he's like, I gotta be honest. I gotta do a That's crazy that you could name that. I would never be able to name that guy's name. Jake Johnson? Ever. Yeah. You like that? He, he would just be Nick from New Girl. So, yeah. um, he was like, I gotta apologize to you because I'm now like a huge fan of you and your work and like all the things that you've been in. Like, I, I'm just naming like the Spider-Man movie. He didn't say that, but whatever. But when I first met you on the set, I took it as like, okay, I know, like, I know what this is, right? That's the talent. And those are the three other guys. We're going to, like, keep Zoe Deschanel in, like, the frame and, like, and mm-hmm. then the other guy. Like, that's basically how he did the whole photo shoot in mind. Where yeah. it's like, we'll get them if we need to. But really, Zoe Deschanel's show. And he, Jake Johnson was like, and I'm glad that is the case. Because he prefers to be, like, the second. Like, he doesn't like being the lead. He likes oh, really? being the, He likes being the person behind the lead. Okay. I don't. It's a, it's a weird take. Anyways, the it's same. It's like you. Um. No, I could be the lead. No. No. Yeah. Definitely. You've never been the lead in your life. Wh- what do you think this is? Number one, Zoe Deschanel, Jake Johnson. No. Yes. No. no. If we were to get photo shoots done, what are our nicknames? Stupid. Batman and Batman. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? We're not Batman and Robin, you fucking dumb fuck. Yeah, but you're like um, Adam West, right? And I'm like a mix between Christian Bale, Ben Affleck, and Michael Keaton. No. You're like George Clooney. You're like, oh, yeah, that guy's Sexy. cool. Sexy. But he fucking sucked lead at in, Batman. Lead in everything. And I'm like the iconic Batman. You're like, oh, yeah, I guess I can. You're Adam West. I know. I'm fine with Adam West. Adam West had a hit television show. He basically created the landscape for what people thought Batman was. You are like the George Clooney Batman. No. Yeah. I mean, they're like, oh, right. That guy, he was Batman for a little bit. And I guess he had like a Robin movie and he had Bat Nibbles in the back credit card. That was cool. Yeah, that was. But like, we forget about it. Adam West is iconic. That's really weird. I am not George Clooney. No, there's nothing wrong with being George Clooney. I'm you don't Batman. Wanna, you don't I'm, wanna, I'm like... Christian, I'm Batman. No, no, yeah. mm-hmm. no. I mean, no, because that's he's so deep and like the character is interesting. That isn't you. You could never be a lead. I was getting off my point back to the Sam Jones thing. Mm-hmm. How did I get to there? What was I bringing so up? No, <laughs> that definitely wasn't it. Because I was talking about Jake Johnson. Um, God, I can't remember. Anyways, the Sam Jones guy, he does great interviews. You should watch them. Okay. On off camera. <laughs> that all came full circle, baby. Thank you. Full circle. God, I can't remember. I had a point. I uh, made this tweet yesterday. Did you see it? I I need all of your... Okay, good. Um, <laughs> but I was thinking about it. Hand jobs are underrated. I actually think they're rated perfectly fine. Because if you think about it, sex? Yeah. It's just a hand job with a vagina. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, it isn't. Yes, it is. No. Mm-hmm. No. Stroking your hog, but with a pussy. <laughs> That's... Yes. They're not comparable. She is stroking your hog yeah. with her pussy. Right. Here's, I'll what t- are you doing in a hand job? I'll tell you the difference. Okay. I'll tell you the difference. A girl mm-hmm. can just lay there, mm-hmm. and I'll be able to get it done. Yeah, you can't girl. you can't just lay there with the hand. Yes, you can. No, definitely not. Yes, she has can. to she has to grip. She has to like put some effort into it with the hand. No. Nope. Yes. No. Nope. You're telling me you can finish. I could I could rub my hand on a or rub my cock on a hand. A minute. Yeah, but that's not, not a done. hand. That's not a hand job. Yes, it is. That's just a sex crime. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bit of a sex crime. Yes. <laughs> that's just a sex crime, yes. man. Dude, you're going you're going to get me in trouble like fucking. Di- I'm going to be on the H3 podcast now. I'm getting canceled. Um, we're we're done talking about them. Yeah, um, I'm sick. But of yeah, that. no, hand jobs are the basis of all sex. Like blowjobs are just like a hand job with their mouth. No, it isn't. Yes, <laughs> they're not because anal hand you, job with their butthole. If I I can do a hand job to me, 
Okay. That's all of the other things you've named. You can't do. You can give yourself fellatio. Go ahead. Show me. I will. You want me to suck my own cock right here? I would love it. I'll suck my own cock. Okay. Do it. Okay. I you will. You can't do it. I will. Go ahead. I'll blur it out. <laughs> Go ahead. Wait till, wait till this is over. And I'll suck my fucking cock right here on this couch. Okay. I've done it before. And should we, um, should we talk about your new endeavor that you want to be, that you've been doing? Or we, you want to skip it all? What? Fellatioing yourself on the couch. <laughs> give myself head? Yeah. Yeah, I give myself head now. So what? Oh, you're talking about the dieting and the working out? I mean, it's day one. Do you want to talk about it or no? Yeah, I mean, it's day one. We just started today. Went to go work out with you today. Um, were you surprised that, that I, I could lift more weight than you? You couldn't, though. Yeah, I did. I can. If we would have one rep maxed, I would have blown you out of the water. You would have blown out an ACL. <laughs> while, <laughs> while benching? I don't know how you would have done it. <laughs> you you might have, because no. you really throw your back into it. That's how, you, that's how you're supposed to bench. No. All back. All back, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It is funny that you do that and you're like, why does my back just hurt? Do you feel like there's a weird energy in this podcast? No, I I feel like it there is. About what? I don't know. I feel sore. I'm very sore. So you, you think that's what it is? You think it comes from that, the soreness? Yeah. yeah. A bit. I um It's hot as fuck in here too. No, it isn't. It's comfy. Really? You're wearing a blanket. I'm sweating my ass. <laughs> <laughs> wearing a blanket yeah I also have three <laughs> shirts on right now um I'm trying to hit a fucking post-workout sauna bro yeah I am um, is the drinking completely gone no no so why what's the point of saying it huh oh you're you're not gonna just get hammered every weekend you're cutting that out no <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm, okay I'm just not going slam beers on like a Thursday oh okay well, that, yeah. But I also might. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't got know. no issues with that. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to try to cut back on the drinking a bit. Mm-hmm. Don't think that it's good for me. Mm-hmm. I've been no, getting really isn't. fucked up. Sure. Last night we ordered rumple mints. Yeah, that's cool. On the rocks. That's good. Just a glass. Yeah, of that's rumble really mints. gross. I don't know why would you ever do that. Mm-hmm. Tebow was like, "Hey, this is a good idea." Oh, he likes it. He, that's his. Fa- really. That's his favorite drink. That's his favorite shot. Yeah. So he wanted to. Drink- well, we Why got there. You just get a, that's a liqueur. Why wouldn't you just get like a whiskey? Well, he, well, he, he got, they were like, oh, is there any deals or whatever? And because it was like happy hour on a Sunday, like Sunday is just like happy hour the entire night. Yeah. They're like a dollar off any drink. He goes, dollar off any drink. That means my rumple mints on the rocks will be really cheap. Oh, very cool. Just like threw that out there. And then we were like, you won't do that. And he was like, I'll do it if somebody else does it. And I was like. I mean, I guess I'll drink it. And then, uh, <laughs> so you didn't have to do it. No. And then he got, he got us all around of it. Pfeffer did one. Oh, that's fucking gross. I did one. And I a like Rumblemans too, but no, thank you. I did one and a half. So sticky. Yes. I, I, I brought that up. I was like, what is your guys? Because they drink Rumblemans a lot. Yeah. Alec I mean, and, so do I. Alec and Tebow. Yeah. So like they should be like well versed in it. Yeah. And I go, what's your guys least favorite thing about Rumblemans? Pfeffer, I think, said, like, Sogo said the taste or something. That's I mean, Fe- that's fine, I guess. Pfeffer, Fef, I forgot what he said, but then both were like, oh, when it's warm. I was like, I can still do it when it's warm. It's not, it is better, like, ice cold. It's way better ice cold. But for yeah, sure. it's the stickiness. It's the stickiness. Mm-hmm. It's just such a sticky. It's the stickiest of them. Yes, for sure. There's no drink stickier. There, yeah. After I drink it, I literally. My hands are sticky. I can't get my hands undone. It's, yeah. I literally am stuck together. I actually think that's what happened with the Gorilla Gorilla girl. She just yeah. got rubble mints in her hair. <laughs> she did just... Well, she got she got like a champagne shower, and then somebody was like, rubble mint shower. No, no, don't put it on the ah, skin. fuck. <laughs> it's stuck on my hair. Um, Yeah. It, it's been the last two weekends. You, you put it perfectly, though, and it's the reason why I do want to, like, kind of pull it back. I just, like... As it is right now, I'm unemployed, so I'm just already not doing much. Okay. Not doing much. Sure. But if I get hammered, yeah. I am 
not only not doing much, yeah. I'm not doing anything yeah, you just, for two days. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's just straight recovery. I'm still kind of recovering today. Yeah. I'm fucking... I mean, the workout definitely helped a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you just tank your day. You'll just get hammered. Mm-hmm. You'll tank the whole day. For sure. Yeah. I, you'll I, wake up. I'll for, wake up at like 5 p.m. sometimes. And then go right back to sleep. Yes. I don't know why you like doing that. I don't. I got to get out of it. Yeah, I mean, losing weight would definitely help that. Yeah. For sure. Just being able to process, you know, anything more. Also... Like the amount that you drink, the amount that you get hammered, it's not like, um, I mean, nobody, uh, nobody's forcing you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can just, my demons are, you could, right. I guess you got to run away from them, <laughs> which is like a constant struggle. Yes. But once you know, you're just comfortable with the demons and you just, you just have just them start hanging kicking with it. You start twerking on them like little nuts. Then you see this one beer I have in, mm-hmm. you can do that. That's fun. That's yeah, cool. but you do that every day. Yeah, that's no problem. You think that's worse than or better than what I do? Well, you do is excessive. <laughs> <laughs> I do get fucked up. I mean, we'll just be like, um, we'll we'll just be drinking, and you'll like pull out a beer bomb and just, <laughs> and just slam it'll be, it. It'll be like a Saturday morning, and I'm like, "Hey, buddy, you're drinking with me," and you're like, "Yeah, I'll have a beer. We have a beer," and I go. Well, let's rip out a beer bong. Are we beer pong in these? We taking a shot? Yeah, <laughs> you just wanna, I just want to drink a beer. Yeah, you just want to have the beer. There's nothing wrong with just drinking the beer. Yeah, and I'll I'll make up reasons to get hammered as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. Like, DMX was on life support this weekend. Is he still? I don't I, I haven't have, kept up with I got really updates. pissed off the other day. Okay. So I'm keeping up how I keep up with all my news. Refreshing Twitter. Uh, the like, there's that discover part on Twitter or whatever, yeah. like on this search cogwheel thing, and I'm just like updating that. The number one headline was at the very top. It was DMX, you know, overdoses, blah blah blah, just kind of you know the TMZ headline mm-hmm. type thing. And I'm looking at that all night. Sunday morning comes around. I'm like, okay, like, is he all right? Is he like, is he fine? Is he off life support? And I see the DMX thing at the top still. Right underneath it, it's a hashtag that's going viral saying, hashtag, he is alive, in all caps. Okay. I'm like, yes! Woo! DMX is alive, motherfuckers! You can't bring down the Rough Riders! I'm getting fucking pumped, right? Click on it, just to make sure. They're talking about some fucking douchebag that's alive. Jesus. Oh, the... (laughs) It's the... the, So you... (laughs) You're looking at the Discover page. Yes. And it says, hashtag, he's alive. Yes. And it's right below DMX. Wait, so because the top link is DMX. (laughs) Yes. And right below it, the next trending thing was, hashtag, he he is alive. alive. Or it's just, he is alive. I don't know if there is even a hashtag. It's just an alive. he has risen? (laughs) No, it's, he is alive. And it's in a, it's like, John 2030 or something. And I click on it. I'm like, what the fuck? It's Jesus. One, no, he's not. No, I know. Two, who gives a fuck? And we, like we learned and, last episode, that would be the, uh, that's the end of the world. When yes. Alive. So you don't That's not be good. No, yes. Not. And for me, right, I'm like, what is Jesus, Jesus giving me? Uh, not X going to give it to you. You can live with sin. He <sighs> forgives your sins. So does DMX. That's true. <laughs> DMX has never once got mad at me for sinning. That's true. If not, he encouraged it. That's also true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if DMX, I don't think he's going to pull through. I don't really know. The, he's been living for a couple of days now, so I don't know. Maybe, yeah. maybe things are turning around. He might just be like... Brain dead? Yeah. Which would be unfortunate. Yeah, it's really, really sad. Yeah. It's, it's a tough... Uh, that Twitter viral video of him just in the crowd like that. I love those... Uh, those daytime concerts and you just see a sea of people just yes. chanting anytime like any so like a metallica or like dmx is just like you see all these people even eminem or something it just fucking gets me hyped that like they have that much like power uh one of my favorite what's your favorite have you seen a clip of a concert what's your do you have like a favorite one yeah. of those yep what is it 
um, Drake getting booed for not being Frank Ocean at the Tyler <laughs> the Creator concert. Okay. That's my favorite. It That's will, funny. I will never forgive those fucking people at that concert. I think yeah. about it legitimately. I think about it maybe every other week. Really? I think about it all the time. I, I guess mine's more, mine's like a, oh, this is hype. It's a uh, um, Kendrick Lamar performing the man down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it like goes silent. Nobody in the crowd's like saying anything. And it does like the gunshots. And everybody in the crowd just all at once goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like jumping on the stage. And it's like the most hype shit ever. You know what was the biggest lie I was told? Hmm. So this might, who knows? I'm. You might be telling me, wait, no, that's true. That uh, that song, why can't I think of the name of the song? Good Kid, Mad City. Right. The yeah, yeah, yeah. People said, somebody told me, you know, that actually isn't Kendrick's thing. That's like the other rapper in the song. But there's not another rapper in the song, right? It's just Kendrick? Yeah, I think it's just Kendrick. It's, and they were, I was like, oh, fuck. I wonder who this, because that, that shit's like the best part of the song. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, and then going into the chorus. Yeah. I mean, it gets you so hyped up. And I was like, oh, that's, but I don't think that's true. I don't think, I think it's I don't just, know if that is. That doesn't seem right. I know it like that's what they told me when the song came out. Hmm, what me... a great high school uh anthem to have. Yeah. That Kendrick Lamar first album, Good Kid Mad City. It actually might be correct. Oh. There is MC It. Yeah. On it. So it might be that might not be Kendrick. That might just be That's that is that is a game changer. That's a little uh little tidbit. I don't know if it's true. I always thought it was a lie. I never looked into it. Who'd you hear that from? Kayla Dalka. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, and I tend to believe that girl whenever she tells me She things. does know things. Mm-hmm. There's one thing about that girl. She knows stuff. Yeah, I know. She's always in, on the end. Yeah, I know. She could not hang out with anybody for months on end. Yeah, that's. I've always really appreciated that in life because um, yeah. whenever I need to be updated on shit, she's just right there. Even if you're in the mix, right? Yeah. Like, you're part of it, right? Usually she'll know stuff about my family before I do. <laughs> yes. She knew my aunt and uncle were adopting a daughter months before I did. Really? Yeah. My cousin <laughs> Hannah? Yeah. Yeah. That's... It does seem like... She, I, know, I mean, like, to be fair, you to... also know things last in your family. Yeah, usually. Yeah. Like yeah, not to get even there, more specific, but yeah. There's, there's about four other people that aren't in your family that figure out things before <laughs> yeah, you figure out things. That's true. And it might even be more because it could be like their parents as well and then yeah, like, sure. You know, their significant sure. other. There are things that I should be told I do not get told. Yes. But, but yeah, that's that's unrelated. Yeah. It's a very very odd thing mm-hmm. in your life that you go through. Sure. Um what did I have? I watched a movie that may have changed my life. Hold on. Give me a hint. Have I seen it? Will I be able to guess it? I mean, you were there. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That movie is really, really good. Booty Tang. Booty Tang. I watched Booty Tang this weekend with you. It it didn't change your life. I like that movie a lot. Yeah, I really liked it a lot. I love that movie. All right. The movie, do you want to say it? Yep. Three, two, one. Tropic Thunder. <laughs> I didn't realize how good. You made me so mad this weekend, man. But no, I watched The Graduate. The Graduate was a very, very good With movie. With Dustin Hoffman. Yes. And there, there might, you know what the thing is? I bet there's a bunch of famous people in that movie. Like, I bet all of the actors are no, hyper famous. No, there isn't. They're not all famous? They no. were all just one and doneers? Yeah. Well, I don't know any other actor's name in that. Mm-hmm. I don't know who directed it. It's just so good. I know Simon and Garfunkel got their start off that movie. Was that their start? Yeah. Those songs are so good. In yeah. That. Yeah, Hello this is, if people is don't know friend. this, um, that song and Hello, Mrs. Robinson, they were, um, when they were making that movie, like they were hired on to like make the soundtrack for this song. So they made that song, those two songs for the movie. And then like, I think the other came out as the movie came out in theaters or like right before and like they just blew like crazy like really? the movie blew up crazy and all the salsa the songs and then now oh, there's Simon and Garfunkel you worded that very weirdly you know that you said they blew like crazy so oh, no, in they my blew, mind they blew up in my mind I'm like oh they sucked no 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 they didn't bomb they blew up they both, really? both like what whichever one came first they both blew up 
But um, like they they definitely made the movie the songs for the movie, and then now they're Simon and Garfunkel, and Louis C.K. has this uh, great story about because he worked with, I think Simon. Okay. Because they're two different people, obviously. Are they? Look at the picture. I know. I'm just. <laughs> it's not Simon Garfunkel. No. Um, imagine your name being Garfunkel. Like, imagine the ridicule. That's his last name. Imagine, still, the ridicule. Of Garfunkel? To be named Garfunkel. Mm-hmm. Like, who are you? Like, I know. Where do you even come from? Like, I get it. Like, you know, Miller, what is that? Like, German or something, right? I have no, I think it's Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound right. Schutz, it's German. Mm-hmm. You know, like, you hear these names, and they're like, oh, that's like a Jewish last name. Where does Garfunkel come from? I bet it, you Google it. It's, it's like Persia. Like, oh, maybe. <laughs> he kind of looks Persian he in does, the picture. He, he does look a little bit Persian, huh? Yeah, it, maybe. It's just like, who? Like, and also, like, a lot of people, when they get on a boat, like, to come, like, through Ellis Island, it's, like, known that, like, a lot of people change their last names yeah. coming to America just because, like, things don't translate the same. And those people... Like when like his family originally came over here, they managed to make probably it. went through Ellis Island and we're like, no, Garfunkel still sounds good. <laughs> that still sounds good. Come on. Yeah, the guy writing the name, he's like, yeah, sure. No, we rocking with Garfunkel. <laughs> we're Garfunkel to the day we die. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> so Louis, which is crazy because you know that actually DMX's real name is X Garfunkel. I I did know that. Yes, facts. Louis has this show with um, Garfunkel. He is got Steve Buscemi, right? Okay. It's called Horace and Pete. I might have told you about it before. Never heard of it. So it was a show that only released on um, his website. So you had to buy each episode, right? It was like thirty five dollars for the show. Mm-hmm. And anyways, the he got all these famous people to uh, go into it. Uh, he even tried to get Joe Pesci for one of the roles, and he like hung out with him, had a, had him read the script, and Joe Pesci's like, the script is good, and I think this is going to be great, but I just can't be, I just don't, I've retired from acting or whatever. Anywho, so one of the great people he got for the that cast- That pretentious, huh? Louis or Joe, Joe Pesci? Pesci? I don't know. I don't know. I'm really curious- because he just was in the Martin Scorsese movies. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really curious. I don't know why. I think he might just hate being famous. I think that's what it is. Is that he doesn't like being in, in recent what? stuff because he doesn't want people talking. You to showed him. me that speech, right? He has, he has like a speech uh, or something. Thank you very much. And then like he just sits down when yeah. he wins the Best Supporting Actor in Goodfellas. Yes. Yeah. And it's like a 10 second... Thank you, and he sits down. Maybe that's the case. I think he just, he just doesn't, doesn't like being famous. I okay. think he just likes the work and doesn't like the fame aspect of it, if I had to guess. Because he is good when he... I mean... So, Louis contacted um, Simon. He managed to pull all these people, and he made the theme song for his fucking show. Louis. For uh, Horse and Pete. <laughs> Same thing. And he's Louis talks about it in like a talk show, maybe like The Tonight Show. And he he was like, yeah, Simon wanted me to be like a music collaborator on this. He would play me something and he'd be like, what do you think? And like Louis grew up being like a huge fan of them. And he was just, he was like, I was no help. He would play something. I'd be like, that's just amazing. I mean, it's the best thing I've ever heard of my life. <laughs> Every single thing he would play. Yeah. It was like, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> he plays the opening to run away. Yeah. Ding. It's amazing. Ding. I would, I would probably if I got Kanye West to do the intro music to any show, I would, there's nothing he could do. He could just he, he could do, make. I'm a sick could, fuck. I like a quick fuck. He could put that sick fuck. or like scoop diddy whoop, scoop diddy whoop, poopity scoop. Yeah. If he brought me that, yes, that's my intro. Thank you. That's it. Yes. David Miller. David. <laughs> that he just says David Miller for like three minutes straight. Is this good? Love it. <laughs> it would be incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it is, it's so weird. It's got to be weird to hit that crossover, right? I've been seeing a lot of these. I've been, I've seen two separate videos, two completely different interview styles 
like uh like not even the same person interviewing like in just different formats completely different shows and I, I keep on getting suggested like celebrities talking about their uh celebrity crush and it's like that's got to be an odd thing because like your first celebrity crush you know so like Britney Spears mine's um Kirsten Dunst yeah uh had a wet dream to that girl mm-hmm I still have wet dreams to that girl. Yeah, I, I imagine me. I've only had one wet dream in my entire life. So, really? Only one. I think I only had that one, too. Isn't that weird? I've pissed my bed. I still piss my bed. <laughs> um, I... What was I fucking just about to say? Wet dreams, Kristen Dunn's celebrity crushes. Bam. Celebrity crushes interviews. Yes. Interview styles. And it's like, it's this weird crossover that when you become famous. Hey, I'm going to pause you real quick. Yeah. When I lose my train of thought, yes. help me get back there. <laughs> when you, use, you lose your train of thought, I'm right there. I'm locked into the conversation. Silhouettes. <laughs> you, the thing you did to help me was say the thing that you said before. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing about... Look, I, I can barely keep up because I also still don't know what I was going to say. What dreams? Interviews. Celebrity interviews. The different styles of interviews. I, I know you, what I'm going to say about that. It's just like, I pretty much the fact that, like, there comes this time where you start, like, answering that. And it's like, oh, I know this person. You know what I mean? That's got to be very, very awkward. What? To say, oh, you're saying. Yeah, because they know them now. Like, that's their celebrity crush. Well, now that they're in the... Yeah, if a person says, like, Halle Berry, they're just like, oh, I know what I was going to say. Okay, go ahead. But you you get what I'm getting at there. Yeah, I guess it's... It's just... It's an odd dynamic. I don't think that's weird. Or, like... Well, because then also, like, with that Louis C.K. thing, you then meet your hero. Oh, right. And it's like, how do you criticize him? How do you, like, ever become that person's peer? It's got to be so hard. To become that person. I was peer. thinking that if I'd met Miley Cyrus, mm-hmm. I just don't know what I would. She's not even my favorite like person. <laughs> yeah, but I just I was I was you know how sometimes you think you're like man I would be friends with this person. Yeah, me, and I was thinking you know if me and Miley met up one day, mm-hmm. not to like try to be friends platonically, right? Yeah, I just I don't think I think the only thing I could say to her is like, just please get away from me. I'm too much of a fan. You're just gonna think I'm weird. <laughs> if she had any, any thought, knew who I was in any sense. If I, I just don't think I could do it. Say I go into a bar, yeah, and talk to, put a, a percentage amount of celebrities. How many of them do you think that I creep out? I think you creep out eighty percent of them. Really, you think so? Yeah. What if I don't know that they're celebrities? Um, if you don't know they're celebrities. I think that I don't creep out that many of them. 20%. Yeah, most. Yeah. But what I was getting at... If they're hot... The, if, okay, if they're guys, mm-hmm. way lower. lower. Girls, If for they're sure. girls, I mean, just take your standard creep level, about 60, yeah. and apply that. Yes. If, there's, if they're celebrity girls, yes. 99% chance you're going to blow there's it. There's a 99% chance that I just pull out and start masturbating. <laughs> That's... Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. It's very possible that I just Louis C.K. him. But... So the the thing that I was going to say was I woke up this morning, not even joking, because me and you had the plans to work out. Kirsten Dunst was what made me think of this because in my wet dream I was Spider Man hanging upside down and she was kissing me and that's and what you made me come. come? That's, that's what made me <laughs> Very come. Very cool. So this morning you sent me this TikTok a long time ago, one of your favorite TikToks. <laughs> Kid looking in him at 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 a TV at a his computer screen, just very focused with a hat on. Next shot is him doing push-ups in his underwear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, woke yeah. up in my underwear and I was going to set up my camera and start doing push-ups in my yeah. underwear. And that's all I could think. Okay, yeah, I'll tell you what it is. One of my favorite TikToks. It's not around anymore. You can't... He deleted it. Or yeah. he deleted the account. Yeah. It's just... I... I'm not laughing. He's, he's a Down Syndrome kid. Yes. And he's just making videos. Yes. And he has this video that there's no, I mean, there's no, nothing correlates. There's no correlation. There's yeah. no through line to it. Mm-hmm. If besides the fact that that's how his brain works, <laughs> yes, he, he just, he wanted to show that he, what he was eating 
which was his food, mm-hmm. at his computer desk. The next cut, him in his underwear doing push-ups. <laughs> yeah. Next cut, he's like back to him eating food. Mm-hmm. All shirtless. All shirtless. Then also then a random still image of Spider-Man. <laughs> That's when I'm crying of laughter <laughs> because I and then yes. a, and then a rapper that yeah. I do not know. Yeah, it was like smoke purp or something. Or I mean, it was slump god. It was the one of the best videos I've ever seen. Yeah, because there is nobody on this planet can make that video but him. Yeah, and it was just perfect. It was also, so what's great is that when he's doing push-ups on the floor, the yeah. way he frames the video is that it's his entire chest. Yes. And he looks shirtless and his chest and face is taking up the frame. Yes. And then he starts doing push ups. <laughs> and then you go, Oh my god, is he naked? And he's in underwear. And you're like, yeah. Oh, okay. In whitey tighties. Whitey tighties. <laughs> yeah. It's such a good I video. did just see a TikTok though where they're playing um Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> he's <saw> this. <laughs> this is, okay, so this uh so I'm, have... guess, I'm guessing it's this kid's brother, right? Mm-hmm. And he plays Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> It's theme music, and it's just like you're like, okay, what is this? What, where is this coming? And then the kid with Down syndrome comes out, cowboy hat on, vest, no shirt, <laughs> two beer bottles. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin normally has cans. <laughs> and then this motherfucker smashes. <laughs> he walks into the pool. He walks into the and pool. He, he smashes. Them. He smashes them. One of them fully breaks. <laughs> the both of them fully break. No, no, one or of them just one. Just one of them fully shatters. Like. Whole nozzle and all. He had to have smacked it hard. The other one doesn't. <laughs> he drinks a little bit of it. And, and like, he goes, woo! <laughs> everybody's screaming at him. All the adults like, are the like, what are you doing? Why did you let... Like, they're talking to the brother. <laughs> why did you let him do this? <laughs> and, he goes, and, and he lets out this, woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest video. And he, he, and his, <laughs> it's so good. And they goes, don't move. Don't move because he's he got glass in the uh, in the in ground pool that yes. fucks up pools like crazy. Yes, he shouldn't do that, and he's gonna <laughs> cut himself like crazy. Yes, <laughs> and he's just jacked. Yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> and what's awesome yeah. is that I don't know. <laughs> there's no way to tell this. Yes, but when I'm watching the video, it seems like it wasn't planned, and all you needed was the music, <laughs> and he knows what to do. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yes, it's so good. Oh my god. Oh, it's... <laughs> that no, that's what TikTok's for. Yeah, I haven't been getting any good TikToks lately. Me neither. It's okay. We just laughed crazy at that video. Yeah. Is that? Are we complete assholes for laughing at that? We're not laughing that he has Down syndrome. It does We're laughing it, that it does make it better, though. It does make it better. Yes, and it only got sent to me because it, it and us because the kid has Down syndrome. That is true. Because <laughs> people be, like to like, associate you with Down syndrome. Yes, and and Korean people and Korean. Yeah, yeah. Not not together though. Mutually yeah. exclusive. No, yes. will they, do people say you're a Korean Down syndrome kid? Well, that's my ethnicity. Amen, brother. Korean and Down syndrome, 50-50. The only other thing that made me laugh that hard this weekend was when we were just tubbing up, and we all had a different pitch for a a TikTok video idea. (laughs) I don't know who, if anybody knows this guy that I'm sitting next to, he likes milk. A lot. And if you slam vodka in it, he's slamming it. (laughs) So... White Russians were one of the greatest things that I ever came in contact with. Yeah. Because it mixed my two loves. Yeah, milk. Alcoholism and milk. Yep. So, like, it's just, it is James's wonderland inside of there. So, you have drank White Russians on stream many times before? Yes. And during our friend Tyler Voss, who doesn't like White Russians, yeah. first off, doesn't really know Kalu is in it. And also has seen you make a white Russian with just milk before. That's not true. No, 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 no. Not with heavy cream. You have done it with milk and Kahlua, right? Yeah. Right. So you made white Russians with milk, Kahlua, and vodka. Mm-hmm. Which it works. It works fine. Mm-hmm. But you know Tyler Voss you know Tyler Voss just saw coffee, it. Coffee creamer. Doesn't work. So, like, like half and half? No, like coffee creamer. Oh, right. Like flavored coffee yeah. cream. 
Doesn't work. Sure. Doesn't mix. Right, because it has a different flavor profile. Mm-hmm. So and, and he has always just attributed to James just drinking straight up milk and vodka. <laughs> yeah. Which is a funny, very funny thing to think of. Because that would fuck your stomach up. I mean, it base, you basically are just drinking milk and vodka plus clue. I mean, you cut out the clue. It's not, you're not that far away. Yeah, it's not too far away. It's not that You're still basically drinking milk and vodka. But it's not a lot of milk. So that's just been an on, run, ongoing thing that we've been saying that James loves milk and vodka. It's just throwing back <laughs> some vodka milks. Yes. <laughs> and there's these TikToks of people drinking beers. And what they do is they vortex it, which is just weird. Because, like, you take if, a bottle of beer, and if you've seen, like, the glass bottles, they sometimes, like a Budweiser, will sometimes have a shaped bottle to, like... It was Miller Lite that had that. Or, yeah, Miller Lite. Where, where, like, um, theoretically, it goes down your throat faster. Mm-hmm. Did it? When you vortex it, it does. So vortexing is just fucking spinning well, that bottle. Well, you gotta quick. spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, and then you go into your mouth and you spin it, spin it, spin it, and it shoots and then it, out. it does like a little volcano vortex and it goes down your throat really fast. But it fast. foams it up like fuck. It's just not good. You can just put a straw. Hey, life hack: if you want to shotgun a beer in a bottle, throw a bendy straw in it or just any straw. Bend it out the top. You drink it. It's faster than shotgunning a can of beer. I'd say. What, vortexing it? Or no. no, the bendy straw? The bendy straw. Right. Yes. Anywho, so that has that's a trend that goes on Twitter mm-hmm. or uh, on TikTok. There's also a trend where people's like, uh, take a shot of tequila without making your face. And yes. I think... This is your... Well, what was the that one was that... was your idea. What was the one that um, the running back for the Green Bay Packers did? Yeah. It, it was, was that same stitch, yes. right? Yes. Okay. And that's what you wanted. So... There's also, like, that trend going. Mm-hmm. There was a third one, right? I can't remember the third idea. I don't know. Do, do you want to pitch the whole thing at this point? Pretty, pretty much what it was was I, <laughs> you guys wanted me, in some way, to chug a gallon of milk <laughs> with a bunch of vodka, which it, like, wasn't even, like... You want me to drink like half a gallon of milk and then fill up the other half with vodka <laughs> and just chuck that. And you and you want me to do take a shot without making a face and then do that? Yeah, that's what I wanted you to do. And Tyler do you, Voss added. Tyler Voss just wanted me to vortex a gallon of milk <laughs> with vodka in it. Which how are you supposed to know that the vodka's even in it? Um, oh my god I mean if you if oh, you took you, a, mine was everybody has that one friend that does this right and then it's just I chug a gallon of milk and chug from a vodka bottle right yeah so that's what you want to do we all had the different takes and you basically drinking milk and vodka and I yes. think ultimately the winner is just vortexing you vortexing a bottle of vodka and milk it is hear me out <laughs> Or I stone cold. <laughs> I walk into a pool, a glass bottle of vodka, a glass bottle of milk. <laughs> Woo! Man, oh man, oh man. That'd be good. Vortex and milk is pretty sick, though. Yeah, vortex and milk. You think milk. you could t- pull it off? Can you vortex? Can you possibly vortex? You realize that drinking a gallon of milk, <laughs> it like makes your. You phys- physically. Most people can't do that. You can. Unless their body's trained. Like, you can. Like Joey Chestnut might be able to. You can do it. I probably could. Yeah, I know. I honestly do think that I could. I know you can. I think that I could do the gallon challenge. I know, and if we vortex it, it'll just fucking spin out of your It'd be so much easier. It's so much faster. Yeah. And also, you're cutting on half the fucking milk for vodka anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you're not even really drinking a gallon. Even better. <laughs> It's also crazy to think that we do a half and half. Like, <laughs> how does that That's even what make half and half it is. Why wouldn't it be three quarters and a quarter? That makes more sense. Because we all have that one friend who does this. Yeah, everybody's got that one friend. I don't know which. I don't know which video to stitch it with. But honestly, any one of them, it doesn't matter because all of them are a shock. Yes, <laughs> it is like a. It is like, what the fuck did I just I do kind of like the idea of taking a gallon of milk and a bottle of vodka now and playing the Stone Cold Austin music, smashing them (laughs) together and just pouring both into my mouth at the same time. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. 
Yes. But taking it step further <laughs> and vortexing. is vortexing it all of it down your throat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the only issue then, right, what? is I want to make all those videos. Sure. But if I do that, I become the milk kid. Yeah, no problem. You know what I mean? Like, oh, right. You have to like, yeah, that, not, you know, you have that kid on TikTok who like uh, um, the weekend song. Yes. And he now he's just trapped by yeah. in that orange suit with the fat ass and yeah. you in the face. Yes. That's just who he is now. That is him. Now you would just have to keep drinking vodka and milk for the rest of your life. Yes. That's fair. Which internally will fuck me up. You don't have to do. <laughs> once you do one, you're good. You'll be a hero. You think that I would... I could stop COVID with that, huh? I think COVID would be scared off. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's go back to China. We can't stop these guys here. <laughs> if COVID saw that, it'd get out of town. <laughs> Bye-bye, COVID. It you fucking... think you can take this guy out? <laughs> 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 yeah, if you if you said like um what would be like a cool little catch sign? Like um COVID watch out. <laughs> and then you vortex it. <laughs> COVID won't get me. <laughs> you better believe in global warming now. <laughs> Chuck it. That's not bad. It doesn't have anything to correlate with it. Like those people in Philadelphia who didn't keep their mouth shut. If they just fucking vortex gallon <laughs> milk, they might still be alive today. Whoa, they're doing cool shit out here. I'm about to go. I'll, hey, everybody, I'll go inside. Hey, I'm going to put my AR away. <laughs> yeah, they might have been still here. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know what you meant at first until it took me a second. I, what? Those people in Philadelphia. They didn't get their mouth shut? Yeah, I didn't know what you were talking about <laughs> until I put two and two together. <laughs> oh, man. That video. It's tough. I don't know. I think, like, it might be a tough video to make, but I think we can do it. What, vortexing? Yeah. Or the Philadelphia video. <laughs> the vortex of the milk. Because <laughs> I really don't want to go on a shooting spree. No, the milk. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you don't got to kill anybody. <laughs> okay, good. You just got to kill yourself, I guess, with the milk and vodka. <laughs> Does it, it doesn't even need the vodka, I don't think. Yes, it does. <laughs> I don't think it does. <laughs> yeah. Or you know why you know, it needs you the know, you know you, why it needs the vodka? Because we've all seen gallon milk challenges. It could be though. Take a shot with. Try taking a shot without a chaser, and then I take a shot of vodka, and then I vortex a <laughs> gallon of milk as a chaser. You don't need to do half a bottle of vodka. It's. I don't want to do more than like a couple shots of vodka with milk. I don't like that you're actually considering this. I'm probably going to do it. No, you don't. Okay, but we have to tr practice on vortexing. You got to get the rhythm down. We'll buy a couple. Get. You don't have to do a half. You don't. I don't to, think that it has to be good. I the vortex. I actually do think it needs to because be good. I don't know if it can be vortexed. I know that's why we, we'll, we'll put the milk in. What if we got go in? Wait, 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 no, 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 no. We you don't need to get um you don't need to get the so think of the two gallon milk. Mm -hmm. Think of the one gallon milk. Yes. Now think of the one liter milk. That bottle. But that's really small. Yes, but you can do two. <laughs> How do I also get the vodka in there then? <laughs> if you do a gallon, I mean, that would be... That'd be insane. We just pour out half of it and then... Even a half gallon is pretty nuts. Yeah. Not a bad video. It'd be really good. Yeah, we just have to fucking... We just got to buy like probably like 10 of them. Get the Vortex down. Once you feel comfy, we're good to go. Yeah, I'm good to go, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's no problem. <sighs> Man, you... um. You made me really mad this weekend. Do you really want to talk about it? Yeah, you kept on cutting me off. Sort of Tyler Ross. Yeah. Not just me. Um, I I don't know what it is with you, but when there's literally any other person, yeah. you take that as a cue of, don't have to talk to James anymore. Sure. <laughs> Get him out of this convo. Yeah, sure. And you did that for a while. Sorry, man. Um, Don't mean to hurt your feelings. You did. What about him? He hurt your feelings, too. <clears throat> Be mad at him. I am pissed. Okay. <laughs> Makes me feel better, thank you. No problem. Um, the last time I did that, those bad boys were greased up. Not as greased up today? I know, because you just took a shower. I can get them greasy. No, thank you. What are we at with time? None, yeah. 
50 minutes. That should be good. No, we'll we'll crank out the last 10. You want to talk about Warzone? <laughs> no, I mean, there's nothing really to talk about. I just decided to go back into it a little bit. Oh, we saw probably one of the greatest college basketball games in the past, like, 10 years. Yeah, it was all right. All right? Are you joking? Yeah, it was good. It was great. It was almost like watching almost an NBA basketball game. I mean, it's Final Four. Yeah. I mean, they played well. They actually scored points. So, yeah, uh, let me set the scene. Yep. UCLA versus Gonzaga. Mm-hmm. Gonzaga is the is a one seed and the clear favorite to win the tournament. UCLA is, Undefeated, too. Yeah, Gonzaga's undefeated as well. UCLA is an 11 seed Cinderella story. On top of the fact that they are an 11 seed, they had to play a play-in game to get into the tournament. So they mm-hmm. had to play one extra game more than anybody else in the tournament besides the other people that had to play play-ins. Yes. So they have just a hot run. They're beating everybody. They've made it to the Final Four. And now this is the last game of the day to get into the championship. It is a 19 lead change game where the, it's literally changed like who who is like winning the game. Yeah. And some of the leads will go like – Six points, and then the other team will answer, yeah. and then it just keeps going back and forth. It really didn't get forth. too far though. It only really did get like, like six. six points. Right. It was a back and forth battle mm-hmm. from the start. Nuts. And also goals into mean, overtime. It's it's college basketball shorter, right? Yes, by There's eight less. minutes. And they put up eighty. Each. Eighty. It's a lo- high scoring game for a uh, college yeah, basketball for sure. Yep. Because if that's a full NBA length game. Those are just NBA points. Yeah, so well, which you don't see that often. with eight more minutes, they like you can easily see them crank into like 100, 110. Mm-hmm. Like that's like that's normal NBA. So going to overtime, right? Mm-hmm. Just uh, it was just like an average. Like I mean, it's not average to get into overtime. It's like exciting the whole time. Yes, but nothing like holy fuck. So games going back and forth. Games mm-hmm. going back and forth. Gonzaga goes up six points. Yes. And there's like a minute 20 left. So you're like, fuck, I guess UCLA has lost. Just done, yep. So UCLA has possession of the ball. It looks Time like, out. It looks like they just get out, like, matched. You know Basically, what I mean? it, they're like, like, it looks like a team that's just better than like, them. Like, oh, uh, yeah. Is, they, is playing the end of this game better because right, they're better. They're a better team. They're like, this is expected. It's not crazy. UCLA gets a second win. Timeout. First play. Corner three. Yep. Down by, I think it's actually five. They're down by five, mm-hmm. not six. Down yep. by five. So down by two now. Yep. Gonzaga goes down. Fuck, they didn't, they didn't get it. They're dribbling, trying to run out the time a bit. UCLA has a chance to take the lead or tie. Shoot the ball, miss. Yep. Get the rebound. Quick, quick layup. 3.3 seconds left in the clock. You think it's going to double overtime. Yep, it's tied up. A nice layup, too. A nice he layup. Ma- made a nice move, made it in there. It was just like, it looked, the guy who made it looked like he, it felt like he had been like there before. Yeah. And he, it just like, it It didn't feel, um, it didn't feel like nervous at all. You're yes. like, oh, this is going to double overtime. Yeah. Then you got this fucking kid on Gonzaga. I don't know his name. 3.3 seconds left. Half court buzzer beater to win her in overtime. And like, it's a backboard, backboard off the backboard. Yeah, backboard shot. Right in. But the guy walks off. He doesn't walk off. I know. Just like, stands on stage. Like, what? Like, it, like as he soon knew as he it was going it, in. He, like, looks at it for a bit, and then he just starts running to the sidelines because he knew that it was going in. Fucking And they boom, win it. Right at the buzzer. And it and was a clear in the, buzzer beater, It too. was in the air for a while before it sunk. Yes. Crazy. It was like... And, like, you know, you see a college half court and yeah. you go that's probably not going in yeah in NBA it's like oh that might actually go in almost every time yeah this kid knew it was going in this guy and just, I don't know his name it's I mean it's the best college basketball game I've ever watched yeah unfortunate that it's in this year too because if it was any other year oh imagine dude if those Gonzaga wins the whole championship they would have they would have fucking ran out Yo, oh, right. The whole, the, yeah. Literally that whole. I know, right. Court would be it's, filled. Yeah, it sucks that which the whole is fans cool. are there. I love yeah. that shit. <laughs> yeah. If if Gonzaga wins, it's going to be a very memorable season for them. Because yeah. they'll be the only team, I think the only team to go undefeated ever in Mark Madness. And, and that, that game. And yeah, and win it. Yeah. I mean, 
and Gonzaga. Do you remember what uh, what city they're from? Washington. What city? Don't know. Spokane, Washington. We just learned it. You know. <laughs> I don't care about the city. Spokane. I don't care about that. Come on, Spokane. All I care about is what state state it's in. And fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> There's two things I care about in this world. What state is your college in? And pussy. <laughs> and how tight your vagina is. And how tight that fucking <laughs> pussy is. And can it give me a hand job? Come all on, man. Pussies give hand jobs, dude. I wonder if anybody like cranked through that part to get to this, to any of this. What? <laughs> like heard all the, our hand job conversations to get to a. Uh, that's a good conversation. It's true. You, I disagree. You're so wrong. I disagree. So wrong. I don't think I am. You wrong. might also think that Joaquin Phoenix is a good actor. No, I don't. Okay, good. We really got our feet in this one. Yeah. This one's for our OnlyFans. We can release this on our OnlyFans. Oh, I forgot to bring that up. Oh, okay. Bad Baby. Oh, right. That girl, uh, Ben, been famous since she's like 13, 14 or something. Yeah, the Catch Me Outside she, girl. Catch Me Outside. How about that? I'm Phil on, uh, I was going to say Philip DeFranco. Dr. Talk Dr. Sh- Phil. Talk shit. Yeah, she was on Dr. Phil. Yeah. Talk shit about David Spade. End up making a music video that got somewhat popular. David Spade was in it. Was he in it? Mm-hmm. Was Theo Vaughn in that? He was a milkman. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. And uh, this girl just turned 18. Yeah. She, I mean, is, by, by the time she made the only fans, she hadn't been 18 for even a week. Yeah. She, well, she posted like a photo on Instagram, I yeah. think. I I, I don't know for sure because the only thing that I saw was the promo of like, you guys asked for it, you know, this many replies saying it, and it's here. But uh, she made, a, I think, an hey, I'm 18 post, you know, just like a birthday selfie to her Instagram. And it just got blown up with, now time for an OnlyFans, time for an OnlyFans. Everybody's blowing it up on there. She does it. Week later, you know, it's a week after she turns 18. Makes a million dollars in six hours. It is, um, I think it's, it's, I mean, it's not crazy that she made all the money. Yeah. That makes sense. Yes. I, right, cause people are fucking creeps. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems like more often nowadays, people are going to talk about how kind of fucking weird that shit is. Mm-hmm. But if you think about it growing up, we, we as a, like a culture just did that for every 18 year old girl. Yeah. Like Britney Spears, hit me baby one more time. Like her first hit single, 18. She's yeah. just a sex icon at 18. It's mm-hmm. crazy. Miley Cyrus, do you remember the countdown for her 18th birthday that was like online? Was there? Like crazy. It was like really? an online, they couldn't wait for her to turn 18. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, now, that's, that's like a thing with just like Nickelodeon stars and shit. Nowadays, it seems like people are way more aware. Like that's fucking crazy and very fucking weird. Now that they finally got but Dan Schneider. Growing, I don't know anything about that story. No, nothing. Really, I know that he's like a, like a perv. I don't know much about it either. You just want to throw that in there. But I'm a bit more versed than you, I think. I literally only know that he was a producer on iCarly, and those girls hate him. He was very he was creepy. Fucking, he had like he, he, had, he had a foot fetish. How do you know that? He would like make like he would make comments about their feet all the time how do you know that and then he'd always put their he'd probably like this episode a lot yeah no we're just really the, feed it up i guess they like if you look at like all of his shows that he produces he always has like a lot of feet scenes really yes with little girls like girls getting their feet foot massaged and you know or them like walking on stuff with their bare feet and it zooms in on their feet a lot i mean also like tarantino does that shit but at yeah. least these girls are but, like. But those girls are of age. <laughs> of age. Those yeah. girls. It's not pedophilia. Does d- is there any known pedophilia shit that he did? Um, like, did did he have like child porn or like did he try to like touch these girls or he was just really he was really, very handsy with them. really handsy and creepy and inappropriate? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. It. It really. I'm not fuck- even trying to defend him. I'm trying to ask. He really fucked up that. Uh, Jeanette McCurdy. Yeah. There you go. I got yep. you. Really got her uh, locked into this conversation. You see locked that? in, yeah. That's what are well, you supposed just, to do? Well, you just have a better memory than me, bro. I know. Me, it in one ear, out the other. You know what I mean? Um, you, uh, yeah. <laughs> you done with this? No, I think we're almost done. Right an hour. Hour and what? Eighteen seconds. Well, the first like 
minute I was getting a beer because I wanted to like mm, 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 yummy yummy very good in my tummy also slam and take fives slam and take fives mm-hmm. you have to help me cook after this too. I do not please no please I will tell you what to do I do not want to actually physically do anything can you at least touch the chickens and put them on I don't want to touch raw chicken um I don't want to touch raw chicken because then I'm going to have to wash my hands you don't want to you can't touch well you know about the salmonella right you can't cross contaminate yeah yeah how does that work the the diseases that um, are in birds salmonella live on like the surface actually it just it doesn't live on the surface it just lives completely like it not all of them will have it but if they do it's just deep in the bird and it's like super easy to contain it's like a really contagious kind of thing not that like if it's open it's fine but like if it gets on stuff you know it's gonna just fucking be it's gonna make you sick yeah foods like um Foods like red meats, like steak, or really just let's just use steak for the example. The all the diseases that are on that are on the surface. So basically, when it hits the uh, the pan and it heats up, it just kills those bitches right away. That's why you can eat like rare steak because it's not within the meat. Where like salmonella is, I eat rare chicken all the time. That's probably why <laughs> delicious. <laughs> it's very Ooh. good. Yummy. Like fish is fine. Fish doesn't have that same shit because you can have sushi. But like mm-hmm. generally, like that's why they cook birds all the way through. It's because they have like diseases that you so can't. So why eat. turkey gets so dry? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit sucks. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have to help me with that. All right. Well, I think that's uh. Good night, we'll everybody. Good night. See you later. This is a late one, huh?